Hi there, this is Mark Summers from Automated Marketing. I'm very pleased to announce that CampaignActions.com is now available to all of us. So the Campaign Builder is an extremely simple way of creating online follow-up sequences and workflow. However, you may have noticed it doesn't include actions. Actions were something we had in the old follow-up sequences but aren't yet available in Campaign Builder. What I've done is developed a system that allows us to bring campaign actions straight to our campaigns. This is how it works. So right now, as it stands, we can't do actions from uh, clickable links or from web forms or when people get added tags. Now this system, the campaignactions.com, allows us to do just that. Here's how it works. Here's a simple campaign that uses all of those features I've just mentioned. We have a follow-up sequence. Inside that follow-up sequence, we have a trackable link. The trackable link has an indicate interest goal that is listening for that trackable link. Here's that trackable link that we're listening for. As soon as they click on the uh, trackable link, it sends them off to the page that we've put into that link and then adds them into this action sequence. Now for ease of the demo, I've used the same action sequence for all of these. However, this is not, can obviously be a different action se sequence for each of those um, scenarios. The clickable link, the web form, or adding a tag. The power of adding a tag is really quite clever. What this will do is it will listen to any tags being added anywhere in the system. So whether it was added via an old clickable link with an action, or whether it was added within the contact record, or whether it was added um, in a sequence elsewhere, this will also listen for that tag being added, and this action will then run. Let's go and have a look at the action. So campaignactions.com simply allows you to send an email address as part of a sequence. This can be triggered immediately, as is in this case, or at any time throughout a sequence and then the action will then run. Let's have a look how it works. When you sign up for campaignactions.com, you'll be given your own personal email address, which is normally the application name. Then you simply send an email. It doesn't matter what the content is because we put all the power into the subject. The subject of the email holds a merge field, which is the contact ID, your application name, and an action set ID which runs all the magic. You simply then change that rather than it go into the contact records email address you then change it to go to your special campaignactions.com email address. Let's go and have a look at where we get the actions from. Action sets are available from under the navigation icon then marketing then settings. That'll bring you to uh, the marketing settings page. So then simply click on action sets on the left hand side and it will take you to a list of all the action sets that you have within your application. You can either use an action set you've already used or you can create a new action set. Inside an action set you can have a number of different things that happen. It can add tags, it can send emails, it can run HTTP posts which can then integrate with SMS services or go to webinar integration or other HTTP post systems. To create a new action set, simply click add a new action set. And then it's the ID of the action set you've just created or the one you want to use that you need back in the uh, follow-up sequence. It's as simple as that to have actions in Campaign Builder. Head over now to www.campaignactions.com to sign up and start running your actions now.